What up? This is Candice. Boy, you thought you brought me down. Listening to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. Threshold Brace Productions. Hey, yo, what's happening? Welcome back to another episode of You Can't Sit With Us Radio featuring myself, Ellen Bishop, and Q. What's up, Q, man? How you living? What's going on, man? I'm doing good. How you feeling? Pretty good, man. All right. This our first. Man, this is the first time we've done this interview at night. Like yes, <laughs> yo, and it was, it's crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm do my own little two cents because yeah. I was always saying our last location because we could actually see outside. I was like, yo, we need to be able to do podcasts at night, yeah, yeah. and now we do when we can't see outside. Yeah, yeah. So that's fine, whatever. But yeah. yeah, this this is our first time doing it. Yeah. Night, so. We got a bigger location now, so that's better. Yeah, true. They try to put us in that little small ass spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was man. Small as hell. <laughs> it was. I I don't know what he's gonna what he's gonna yeah. do with that space, but you gotta be. Yeah. I don't know. It's, you gotta be podcasting for one person. In I ain't even tell him that we we found another space though. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. He's gonna come find you one day. He's gonna be like, "Yo, I, I haven't seen you in a while. What's, what's going on? You gonna be shook? You gonna nah, you nah. <laughs> I just, I'll make up something. <laughs> I'll make up something. No, we stopped doing the podcast, bro. We don't even record no nah, more. Don't do it. It's all in my head. <laughs> all right, but yeah, as always, you know, we keep the dopest guests on the show. Today is like no other. We got Bria on the show today, and she is an artist out here in Nashville, Tennessee. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm pretty good. <laughs> How's your day going? It's going good. Just trying to stay warm in this mm-hmm. in this weather. Um, just taking it day by day, you know, just living life. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wind chill disrespecting my face this morning. I was like, <laughs> man, I walked outside. Yo, I was like, whoa, did, what was so that? So did y'all see the weather predictions for today? Like, no. The, so they said that it was supposed to be like, we were supposed to go out there. It was supposed to be like, Ice on the ground. Yeah. We couldn't go to work. We couldn't <laughs> exactly. do nothing. My girl, she works for the school system, and they started two hours late. I got up, went outside, like, there's nothing there's out no there. Ice. Nothing there. There's nothing. It was <laughs> nothing, nothing out there. It rained probably for, like, 20 minutes where I was at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I was like, I don't know what y'all are talking about, but whatever. And back in my city, we are at negative. Tomorrow's supposed to be, like, negative 50. Ooh, like literally. Wait, where are you from? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Uh, I just came back from Michigan, Ooh, and yeah. it was real cold yeah, up there. Yeah, they, yep, Milwaukee, they have a weather advisory for negative 50 tomorrow. <laughs> Absolutely And so, not. like, yeah, plus everybody's people. like, oh, snow. I'm like, it's not a snow day, it's a cold day. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> boss, you, I, I'm telling you, I'll be in the crib, like, I'm I'm on the game all day. I'm not, I'm not leaving the house. Yeah, 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 I'm, I, well, they ain't, by the time they hear this, it's going to be over. But <laughs> but just be. know just be. know, I cared at that time, y'all. I cared. <laughs> y'all should y'all have stayed at home. Hopefully, y'all stayed inside. Well, at least the government back open for a while. True. He going to you know, give us a little trial period. Just let us <laughs> <laughs> remind us what it feel like and then <laughs> close it back up again. <laughs> my, my man's just wild. Oh, yeah. my gosh. <laughs> you got any thoughts about that? See, don't I don't want to get started in it. <laughs> That sounds like a trick question. Right, <laughs> exactly. I'm not going to dip my toe in it, nothing. <laughs> I just mind my own business, you yeah. know. Just, I, yeah, I got nothing to say on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the smart response. Hey. You, you sounded like press. He was like, you got some thoughts on that? Like, I, mean, I would have been like, I mean, what no. Gonna hey, I learned. <laughs> he going he gonna to close it right back down yeah. in three weeks. So. I'd be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's going to be like, because, you know, we had that previous podcast where they was like, take that information off. <laughs> We're going we're gonna to have another one of those. Man, that was terrible, man. You yeah. know how long it took me to edit that podcast? <laughs> man. Yo, for, uh, a message to anybody that comes on this podcast, we're putting everything on the cast. We're not, we're not taking nothing off. We're we just putting it all Real. on there. Yeah. So I just want to throw that disclaimer out now. Man, it was a good interview, but I'm just saying, I had to, mm-hmm. I, it don't take me no five, six hours to edit one interview. <laughs> exactly. That was, that was too Bria much. almost just walked out now because she didn't like that we keep it real. Here. So no, no, keep it real. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so Bria, so how long you been uh, doing music? I have been, I've been singing since I was like eight, mm-hmm. maybe. Um, I have been working on a solo career for probably 
last year and a half, two years. I was in a girl group um, when I was like 17 years old. And uh, we did a lot of training out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And then once the group broke up, we tried it again. And then group broke up again. So I was like, hmm, maybe I should try being solo for a little bit, you know, just to find myself as an artist. Because um, being so young, like, I felt like I didn't have that chance to really, like, explore that. Mm -hmm. Um, So I've just been doing this for the last two years. Um, Singing, working on myself. Um, finding my sound and what I want to sing about, you know. Um, but yeah. You are you from here? Or are you from you from Oakland, right? I I, I was uh, I was born in Oakland. Yes. Okay. Um, I've grown up here though. Uh, last 19, 20 years of my life. <laughs> so I call myself a Nashville girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I was born in <clears throat> California, and my family's actually Bahamian. Um, so it's kind of a weird mix. I'm like a Southern Californian Bahamian. (laughs) So definitely makes me who I am. That's for sure. (laughs) Um, did you, did you, do you want to be back in a a group or are you like, I have been thinking about it a lot, actually. Um, I think. I had to take care of some things personally for myself mm-hmm. that made me not ready at the time to really appreciate what a group is. Because when you're in a group, it's like a team effort. Like, you constantly yeah, yeah, yeah. got each other's back and uh, stuff like that. Um, but I've been thinking about it recently, and I think it is something that, you know, if I find the right girls, um, I would put together my own girl group, you know, mm-hmm. with choreography, uh, bomb harmonies, all yeah. that stuff. Um, But, you know, you can't just force that. You can't just pick anybody and put them in a group together because you have to have the right personalities that gel together, Mm, people that are willing to work together um, and not just be a me, me, me thing, you know? Um, Because I feel like a lot of the times, like, that's what what people think, you know? And they don't look at it as, oh, it's a team, you know? Same as a basketball team, cheerleading team. You have to work together to, you know, reach Mm -hmm. that final goal. And that's something that I especially understand right now and how important that is to have that, you know, that working together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're, you know, so you're, I was going to say, so you're single now. So you're like. (laughs) 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 No, Um, I'm not single. So, right. So you're, so you're, you know, solo. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. So, um. I guess I, I you kind of touched on it a little bit before, but like, mm-hmm. so what do you, what are kind of your pros and cons of being your own person compared to being in a group? Pros and cons. Um, I say one of each, so you don't like have to right, right. Go down a whole list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> First of all, I don't like other women around me. <laughs> <laughs> well, my pro of being a solo artist is that you have full control mm-hmm. over what happens you know you get to pick the song Mm -hmm. you get to um pick which part you want to do the whole thing (laughs) um you basically like you control everything yeah and you know the con of that of being in a group you have to sacrifice a little bit you know right um but the pro of being in a girl group was like i said you have like say you're not feeling all that well like say if you um suffer from mental health Mm -hmm. but you still love performing then groups are great for you because somebody's always got your back you know right um wait that was the con right and the no that was the pro yeah and then the the con con of Mm -hmm. being in the group Mm -hmm. was that you know like i said you lose a little yeah right 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 you lose a little bit of having that say Mm -hmm. And everything you do, because, you know, you got other people that you have to take into consideration. Yeah, right. So. So, um, okay, so that, that that's dope. I mean, and I just I just ask that because I know, like, you know, I'm sure there are other people out, you know, that are, that are in groups, you know, and they might be thinking about, you know, doing their own thing. So, mm-hmm. like, what would you say to somebody that, you know, may be in that position, you know, maybe in a group with other people, and, it, you know, they're considering going solo because, of course, you think about it, you know, before right. it happens. So. What would what, so not necessarily what would you say because that sounds like a corny question. <laughs> right. How was how was your how was your transition process like? How did that work for you? What had happened was is that I think you have to 
really believe in the group. If you don't believe that your group is going to make it, Mm -hmm. then well, you shouldn't be in a group in the first place. Right, right. Um, (laughs) But I would say, oh, man, this is hard to say. (laughs) Like, thinking about it now. They might not listen, so Um, you you can just say whatever you want. (laughs) I... (laughs) You really got to be yeah. about the group yeah, and not be about you. Right. Because you have to move as a unit. Yeah. Um, I have to say, if it's a self-discovery thing and you, you need to learn more about yourself, then I encourage that. Because if you don't know who you are going into the group, mm-hmm. you're going to get swallowed up right. by it all. Yeah. So if that's your reason for going solo, then honestly, you need to do that. You need to find yourself now before you decide to bring other people into it. It's like any relationship, yeah. whether you're dating someone, a friendship, like you have to have a sense of who you are before you put yourself in there. Because then in the midst of it all, you're going to lose yourself right. and be like just going with everything. You don't know what um, what's like a no go for you, um, what's cool with you. You know, you just don't know yet. Yeah. But if you're just in a group just to gain from yourself yeah. then just cut it now <laughs> just <laughs> it well, ain't for you yeah. <laughs> do you have a favorite musical group of all time uh me, yeah me of course one. i do there's a lot um <laughs> no nah, you don't you said there's a lot you can't pick one no you really can't though like I would say vibe wise and style wise, definitely TLC. Okay. Like okay. they were just cool. Their mm-hmm. sound was unique. Um, they were just different. Yeah. Like, now talent, like they had it all. Destiny's Child. Okay. Like let's be completely real. <laughs> like they had it yeah. all. Yeah. And um, harmony wise, even like SWV, mm-hmm. just old school classic. Mm-hmm. Um, that era in general was untouchable. Yeah. Facts. Like, talent back then was a whole different... Facts. They were doing something different yeah, back then. it required a lot more mm-hmm. at that time. You Training, to, all that stuff. Yeah, the course. practice. Yeah. Nowadays, people just put out whatever. Yeah, I mean, you can yeah. you can put out a single and blow up on the internet. You're cool. Exactly, you know, that's, that's exactly. There's it. no work really put behind it. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah. Do you have, like, a, a favorite artist of all time? Another hard one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm a big India RE fan. Okay. Um. Hmm. 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 I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that coffee you do it to you. <laughs> uh, Tamia. I love Tamia. Oh, word. Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. I never know anybody that's, that has it to me. Really? Yeah, to me, I mean, to me, it's dope. I don't say it like that. Wow. Like, I, my favorite I artist, mean, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, really? I never, I never. All met like anything that. old school is just like them as a whole mm-hmm. is just kind of who's molded me into who like the artist that I am today. Yeah. So all them Brandy, Monica, um, Beyonce. I could go on and on. <laughs> <laughs> Got another hard one for you. Favorite song of all time. Oh jeez, you're just making it <laughs> hers. <harder>. Hers. <laughs> um, best. You said best song. Favorite song. Favorite song. Yeah. Okay, this just because it's at the top of my mind, I can't really like think of my favorite of mm-hmm. all time. But any time that I hear "Just Fine" by Mary J. Blige. I just feel good. Yo, do you do the Mary J move? <laughs> the dance moves? Because if you don't do that, you, you're not, you're of not course, with it. Of course. <laughs> okay. All right. I, you got to There's check. no other way. Yeah. If, if you're not doing the Mary shuffle, like she be on stage <laughs> she going be crazy. Trouble. Yeah. If you're not doing that, you're not feeling oh it. Oh, my gosh. You're killing it, bro. Man. So, um, okay. So, with that, um. So what are you kind of working on, like, right now? Um, well, I just released my single. Um, I, for the next step, I really kind of play it by ear, which is something that I'm working on for mm-hmm. this New Year's to have more of a set plan. Because yeah. I'm a go-with-the-flow type of girl. Yeah. You know, yeah. whatever it is, let it be. Right. You know, but um, I think I'm contemplating on dropping another single mm-hmm. or go back, going back into development Mm -hmm. because i feel like um i'm working on branding so i'm trying to find like my exact brand so Mm -hmm. i don't know if i want to 
put out more stuff. Yeah. Like, the artist side of me is just, like, put out music. Yeah. Do it all. Right, of course. But then the other part of me is, like, you know, the business side is, like, do you know your brand? <laughs> is your website out? Yeah. No, you can't do all this. <laughs> so, um, it's just, like, a battle between Find those two. I might release another single um, just for the summer because, you know, summer hits. Of course. You know, just got to drop that real quick. Got to. <laughs> but at the same time, really, like, still search for who I want to be as an artist and also, like, getting that um, practice, being on stage, yeah. putting on a show. Um, just a lot of working on me. Facts. Because I want to be the best version of me possible. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I just thought about something. I got a I got a beat for you. I think it'd be perfect for you. You got a beat? Yeah, yeah. I got one. Send it over. I will. <laughs> I got. You. Send that over. Right, I got you. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about your uh, your debut single though. Rocking with you. Talk about that before yes. we get into it. Well, I've been working on it for a year and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, Why so long? Because I'm very particular. I'm a perfectionist, mm-hmm. and I wanted the first thing that I put out to be kind of like match my energy Mm -hmm. which is like fun you know a little bit of sass yeah that energy you know Mm -hmm. something you can dance to um and i just wanted it to be perfect um so i the guy who produced it he is um he's worked with baja men cool in the gang Mm -hmm. um he's a bahamian producer Mm -hmm. um so that was the connection. Uh, he was able to help like find um, the sound for the set of songs that I did, yeah. um, which was like a Bahamian sound. Mm-hmm. And um, he he worked on it. And we, I spent about a week and a half, two weeks, mm-hmm. in New Jersey recording it. Um, and yeah, we got it done. Then was the um, mixing phase, and that took a little bit. Yeah. And the mastering phase. So, like, combined, that took a hot minute. Yeah. Um, and plus, there's a video. I wasn't going to release a song without a video. Of course. <laughs> um, so, that video alone was six months. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's just a lengthy process. Yeah. But yeah. I felt like, in the end, it was worth it. Ooh, worth it? <laughs> <laughs> Tripped over my words. <laughs> um, but I'm very proud of, proud of it, you know? So, you went to Jersey? So yeah. Why did you go to Jersey for? He he lives there. Oh, he lives there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, <clears throat> recorded out of his home studio. It was very okay. nice. Um, I also had uh, Herschel Herschel Small. He um, he plays for Baja Men. Okay. Um. And it was just an amazing experience, honestly. Mm-hmm. Just seeing, there's just something about something seeing something that you wrote yeah and like it started out as an idea yeah like so it coming to life literally just yeah. it started out with a simple line like a simple melody mm-hmm. and i was just like okay i feel this and now to see it turn into this whole orchestration i was like <laughs> yeah oh my gosh i right. did that you know <laughs> so yeah i'm i'm still proud of it today mm-hmm. like for that to be my first single the first thing that i put out to the world and it was also like a big learning process just like doing all the business side Mm -hmm. of it and like i'm doing this all this stuff like on my own so i'm figuring out like licensing um marketing um getting it on itunes spotify all that stuff you gotta set up a artist page on spotify Mm -hmm. and it was just so Spotify lot. is probably like the hardest place for anything, dude. It's so uh, hard. Yeah, and then they, don't, <laughs> they don't pay nobody. Man, no, they right? don't pay. No. Right? Uh, no, they're like, you get streams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, come on, man. That's payment enough. Yeah, <laughs> don't, uh, <laughs> Spotify is I think, I think Tidal pays the most, though, right? Really? I want to say. Man, I, I don't I know. know. I, didn't, I, I didn't think moved. about putting it on Tidal. Because yeah, I, I didn't know a lot of people that actually like have Tidal. Um, so I was like, yeah. do I want to put this on yeah, my yeah, first? Yeah, yeah title's a, a win-lose for me, man. Because, I mean, you know, Jay-Z took a lot. And, you know, a lot of mm. artists made their stuff exclusive. But title still doesn't have that, like, it factor for me. Yeah. Mm. That would make me change. 
Like, I know okay. that you, it's a lot of Jay Z music that you can't find unless you go there. But yeah. if I search online for a few minutes, <laughs> yeah. I, can, right. I can find <laughs> exactly. Jay Z song. Really I won't. It. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna bug out about it. So yeah, so I'm. I'm waiting on title to 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 do something bigger. Yeah. Mm. Okay. I so let's get into uh, rocking with you by yeah. uh, Bree, and we'll be right back on you can't sit with us. <laughs> Never bought into the love game. It all sounds the same. First you dive in, then you swept away. Yeah. All the clothes and the fancy rings. It don't mean a thing. If you got me, then I got you, baby. As long as you got my back, yeah. Oh, just know.
back to You Can't Sit With Us Radio. We got Bree on the show. Yeah. Um, so what, what was it like shooting the video for it? It was like a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It was the craziest thing <clears throat> that I have ever done. And like I've done music videos before and I've planned it, mm-hmm. but I wanted this one to be like the biggest that I've ever done. Um, because of course I'm always pushing myself. Like the next video is gonna be even bigger than this one, but with that one, whew, let me just tell you that nothing was really set in place until maybe two or three days before, and I was. Whew, <laughs> I get flashbacks thinking about it. <laughs> um, I my location. Both locations, oh my gosh, they fell through at least two or three times. Um, and my best friend, Allie, shout out to Allie, <laughs> um, she let me use her house um, to shoot like where the party scene yeah. is at yeah. in my music video. And um, that was a big lifesaver right there. <laughs> um, I, on the night of... I didn't, there was no parking, mm-hmm. and I didn't find that out until I got there. Oh, wow. Yeah. And keep in mind, I got like 20 or 30 people coming. Yeah, I was about to say, you got, I know you got people on the way, too. <laughs> yeah, and people, <laughs> half of these people I do not know. Of course. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, okay, plan. Yeah. What I'm going to do, I'm going to drive down to the gas station, and I'm going to pick everyone up in my car and drive over to the location. So I made about 10 trips picking up everybody for the video and did the same thing at the end of the night. Wow. I wish I had an applause button. That's (laughs) that's (laughs) like, that's true. Yeah, like, that's... That's man. true dedication, dedication. Yeah, yeah. yo. I don't Because I'll be like, look, man, <laughs> put the camera in the right angles. We can look <laughs> like it's mad people in here. And, you know, we can do oh our thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's insane. That's yeah. crazy. Um, and on top of that, I was basically directing the video. So I'm already, like, under a lot of pressure. Yeah. I'm like, I got to perform. Got to do this. Got to do that. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'm also thinking of, like, what scenes do we want next? Yeah. What do we want a shot of? Yeah. And stuff like that. So, like, I'm in the position, like, I've never actually, like, kind of directed mm-hmm. a video. But also, like, I've never, I, this is something that I've realized. I've never really had time to just focus on being the artist. Because, I mean, that's great. Because, you know, I'm learning a lot yeah. along the way. Right. So, say, like, 15, 20 years down the line. I, this is just me, like, thinking out loud. Like, say there's another artist that I happen to be mentoring Mm -hmm. or something like that. I had that experience Mm -hmm. to help them out. But just to go through the experience myself, it's just like, okay, I'm calling the shot. (laughs) But also, man, I'm exhausted. Like, by the end of the night, I was so tired. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, it was, like, 20 degrees outside, and I was wearing shorts and a thin jacket. <laughs> Needless to say, I was really sick the next day, but hey, yeah. it was all worth it for the video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but what else happened? And then the second location, second day was shot here, and I almost didn't have the location for here because we're at home, by the way, for the mm-hmm. people that don't know. <laughs> um, but I came in, and they had an event that night, so I wasn't able to shoot where I wanted to oh, shoot man. at. And yeah. I was like, this is not happening. <laughs> and I had a <clears throat> panic attack. Yeah. I freaked out. And then Logan was like, like the angel he is, Bria, you can rent out a room. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> you right? You're so right. So I used one of our rental spaces mm-hmm. um, and literally came in clutch for last minute. It was perfect. Like, I'm telling you, like, that was God orchestrated. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. everything was falling apart. Yeah. But then, like, the final product was exactly what I envisioned. So it's just... Yeah. <sighs> Mind-blowing. Yes, yes absolutely. Yeah. And uh, 
everything happens for a reason, you know? Of course. Yeah. Um, everything had to fall through for better things to fall in place. Yeah. So that's just how I, that whole experience <laughs> with that. Obviously, I'm still alive. I'm still breathing. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. it was worth it. Um, So this is a weird, I've never asked anybody this question, I don't think. But uh, some people don't think about, <laughs> well, Where it's not really going? something you got think about. <laughs> so, um, So how old are you? I'm 21. 21. Okay. 22 in April. 22 in April. Okay. Hey, April 14th. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with you, I you know, not saying that you're young, but you're younger. Right. Um, how do how do your parents feel about you know you and pursuing your music? You're like you've done a lot of traveling. You know more mm-hmm. than more. I would feel more than the average 21 year old does, mm-hmm. especially you know for a music career. Yeah. So what do you you know how what what are their views on that? Well. <laughs> they've always known mm-hmm. that I <laughs> wanted to do this and I wasn't going to have it any other way. Yeah. So they're just like, you know what? Let's just go with it. Mm-hmm. Especially um, when I was in the girl group, um, we were noticed by like, like big people yeah. in, the, in the game. Um, had um, Justin Bieber's trainer um, that was training us. Um, people at Disney mm-hmm. auditioning us for shows. Um, so like we were doing very well. Yeah. Um, and my parents were always there when we were at our training rehearsals because, you know, we were underage, so we couldn't like travel on our own or anything Mm -hmm. like that. Right. But I feel like it was truly at that point when my parents were like, Okay, she she really does got it. Yeah, yeah. And like especially like when like professionals that would come and watch us Mm -hmm. in the game, like they would say that like, Oh, she has it yeah. type of thing. So I felt like that was already confirmation. Right. Right. They're like, they already knew that, but you know, it's different when someone else like that's a veteran in the game says like, she's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they've been very supportive. Um, they, um, support my career. Um, which I'm very fortunate and blessed to have yeah. that. Yeah, a lot um, of people don't have it. Exactly. Especially not at that age. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I didn't go to college. Yeah. Um, this this is what I do. Right. Like there is no. I don't have a plan B. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that, a that plan B to me pack. is mm-hmm. plan A. It's not. I believe in plan A so much yeah. that I don't see a need for plan B. That's how it's supposed um, to be. Because I just. I feel like this is meant for me. Mm-hmm. I don't know how exactly what what it's going to take to get there yeah. or, or what doors I need to, you know, try and open. Mm-hmm. But I know that how do I put this? I like I said in the beginning, mm-hmm. I just take things day by day. Yeah. And if an opportunity that I if I see an opportunity <coughs> in front of me, I'm going to go after it. Right. Um, it's not like I have a set plan, like, if I do this, 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 and this. Because a lot of the times, that's not how it works. Yeah, exactly. You may have a set plan. It may God may have something totally different Completely. Yep. planned for you. Mm-hmm. You think you'll make it up, like through American Idol? <laughs> no, you might just make it singing in a cafe mm-hmm. down the block. Yeah. You don't you know. know. Yeah, the stories know. that like you hear about the people that are famous today... Yeah. Like, it really puts it in perspective. It could happen anywhere. Mm-hmm. So that's why, one, you got to stay prepared. Yeah. Always. Always. You know, always, and which is what I'm especially working on mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. Um, do I necessarily feel like I'm 100% ready to, you know, take on the world? Yeah. I don't know yet. Right. Because I, I feel like I'm still growing mm-hmm. and I'm still learning. And I feel like I'm not where I want to be yet. Yeah. And I'm still molding myself into the person that I want to be. Because mm-hmm. I mean, I'm I'm still young. Yeah, you got you get you got a lot of time. Exactly. Yeah, so a lot I want to. It's it's people twice your age that still don't even know what they're doing. Right. Like, right. Yeah. And I don't want to get to that age mm-hmm. and still not know who I am. Yeah. For sure. Um. Because like these, I feel like these are the years where you really figure out like. I mean, you get a taste of the real world, yeah, and you just learn a lot about yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, you go through things, um, and I feel like those stories or those lessons that I learn now will really help mold me into the person that I'm going to be 
six months from now, yeah. a year from now, two years. Um, so it's it's just a growth thing. Mm -hmm. Development is so important um, for any artist out there. Develop yourself. Know yourself. Because you can't waste time not knowing who you are. Yeah. The first thing that professionals are going to ask you, they're going to say, tell me about yourself. A lot of people, a lot of people can't answer that question. Right, and like, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, it's insane. Some I used to get tripped up on that question, mm -hmm. so it's like if you can't answer that, <sighs> yeah. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So I'm sure. Do you get a writer's block? Oh, all the time. How do you how do you get through it? I I wrote down this thing in my um, master plan notebook where it says re-inspire yourself so if you're not mm -hmm. feeling inspired you're feeling mental blocks and stuff like that just literally find something that inspires you like for me for some reason i'll watch i watch a lot of cooking shows and for some <laughs> reason that inspires me i don't know why it's really weird because there's no correlation <laughs> um <laughs> yo when she took that out of the oven in 20 minutes it hit me that was the next hit yes. <laughs> but like just like um just finding new things that inspire because i feel like if one thing inspires you like i've recently gotten into hair mm -hmm. and like different styles of hair like red hair <clears throat> blue hair blonde hair yeah i finished my own wig today yeah like you got just, a lot of hair I, thank you thank you <laughs> y'all can't see but she has a lot Big of hair, hair that was the hair. first thing i noticed when you walked in i was like she yes. got a lot of hair man. yes i do <laughs> but i feel like after i finished like that wig today i was like oh my gosh i did that yeah what else yeah. can i do right. let me try to set something else up you know yeah so i feel like if you just need that one thing to give you that little push mm -hmm. and then you'll be able to do something else Definitely. like write that song you know yeah. it may teach you something that you want to write a song about you know um overcoming something um struggles mm -hmm. stuff of that sort yeah. so yeah i would just say re-inspire yourself okay uh, so what is your favorite food then <sighs> california rolls sushi oh yeah hmm I've yet to find a favorite sushi. Really? I know. I, I guess I don't have it. See, okay, so this is my sushi. Let's talk about My sushi, it. right, my sushi state Let's of talk mind. About so it. I walk into Publix. Sushi talk. I walk, I roll over mm -hmm. to the sushi department. So Publix oh, you can't ain't. can't go there. I can't? Okay. No. Well, I, well, we're going to talk about We'll talk about that later, but I'm going to tell you how, how, how it rolls Strike for me. One. So. <laughs> So I roll, I roll to Publix, and you know they got everything in a pack. You can't just buy one sushi. Yeah, <laughs> like it don't work like that. So I'm looking like, dang, like this description sounds pretty nice, but what if I don't like these? <laughs> then I bought a pack of eight sushi. I'm gonna eat a half. What I'm gonna do with the other seven and a half? <laughs> so I just you feel like it's money. a waste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I just, I don't know. I never, I never have been able to pick the right one yet. Go to your local sushi bar. We got, we got sushi bar. Yeah. Well, like okay. any like <laughs> Japanese restaurant, yeah. or, like ah, okay, okay, like okay. any of those, like they have sushi bars in them where they have like mm -hmm. different types, yeah. and um, they'll like say everything that's in them and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, I just knew I loved California rolls because I've literally eaten that since I was a toddler. Yeah. Um, like I could live off of those for the rest <laughs> of my life and be completely okay with that. Um, but. Yeah, you just just try it. It's literally life changing. Yeah. So okay, yeah. Okay, I'm a that's that's gonna be my goal. Yeah, my absolutely. Goal, my goal <laughs> my for goal. this for this <laughs> this new month. I tell you what, try. I I forget what it's called. I think it's called Ebby. Okay, it's just a shrimp mm -hmm. on some rice. Oh, okay. Simple, nothing too crazy. Hmm. Now you could also start off with the California rolls. Typically, there's cucumber, um, crab. Avocado. See, I was thinking about that crab thing because I like crab. So you'll like I that. Was, you'll love it. Try it. Get a okay. California roll. Okay. Cool. 
Easy peasy. Don't get the one with, I don't know what it's called. I think it has a different name. But if it has cream cheese in it, run. Nah, nah, I pass. <laughs> I, I don't eat cream cheese anything. Yeah, no. Not <laughs> my California rolls. Absolutely not. <laughs> they don't belong. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a break on You Can't Sit With Us Radio. When we come back, Brie, I got some random ass questions for you. Oh, jeez. Best part of the show. Yeah. Oh, man. I. <laughs> 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 so when we come back, random ass question time with Bria. But for now, check out this brand new single just released on February 15th to all streaming sites. This is Candace and Threshold Brace, I Care, produced by Threshold Brace and Taylor Dahlia. And we'll be right back on You Can't Sit With Us Radio. <laughs> I believe that you and me could be a team they won't defeat, but you second guess the actions that are best, the actions that are best for you. But I dream, I hope, believe for a chance that's meant to last. You can vibe with me, and that's a fact. Pushing me back Why well, you don't want this love It wasn't meant for us You don't seem to agree That it was meant to be I was your ride or die Now you're killing me You stabbed me in the heart Bleeding eternally Yes, I really cared But you didn't feel for me I guess it goes to show That you ain't here for me You don't seem to care So these questions have nothing to do with what we talked about today. All right. It's random as hell. <laughs> yeah, Bring so so I got a few questions. So if you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Love each other. Okay. Sweet and simple. Strong. All right. 
<laughs> That's how you know the question's about to be why if he lasts for even answering. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. If you could wedgie any historical figure, who would you pick? If I could what? A wedgie. Like wedgie? Give a wedgie? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that is <laughs> Any historical figure? Yeah, yeah. It's probably gonna be someone I don't like. Yeah. I already I thought of one name immediately, so I'm gonna see where you go. <laughs> I really have to think about this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Let the, let that sink in. That, wow. Okay, I thought Hitler because I don't like him. <laughs> He's ah, a terrible person. That's a, ah, you do it. Out. That's <laughs> I mean. School. I think we'd all want to wedgie Hitler, or some people might want to do worse sure. things. But probably, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talk about that. But like, I wouldn't do that to somebody <clears throat> I I like. So yeah. I'm like, well, who's someone that like was an absolutely terrible person? Yeah, yeah. Hitler. Yeah, that's the Work. first person that came to mind. Work. Who I you? thought Donald Trump. I see. I, I was thinking to about. Say that's you what I was thinking about too. We, at, we were supposed to have like that <laughs> black people connection. Too. We was, we was, to to we was supposed to connect on that, okay. but I was didn't, like, she didn't what catch. She, gonna say? <laughs> she thought I was, I was gonna connected, tell her, but nah. I just didn't want to say it. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, you've been given an elephant. You can't get rid of it. What would you do with it? What would I do with an elephant? Yeah. If you can't get rid of it, I would create a reservation so it could run freely. I live on four acres, so that could work. Okay, that work. Big Bang Frank. <laughs> 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 I've got four acres. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure if that's enough for an elephant, but mm. I mean, it'll have to work for now. Because my my next question surely was about to be, where are you gonna find that space? <laughs> you got four acres. That's, I mean, that's more acres than I got. So <laughs> I'm, I'm cool with that. I don't even know if I'm gonna ask you this question because it's about sushi, but I don't know if you might. Look, I'm gonna ask you anyway. So. Okay. What would you would you rather have sushi for life or unlimited tacos for life? Mm, we might have found a second favorite. <laughs> Still sushi. Tacos are good, but it has to be a certain type of taco. Like tacos. If I make it, yes. But if like it's from Taco Bell, I think I might get sick. Do you like? Black people tacos or Mexican people tacos. That's not the for for anybody listening. That's, that's not racist. Just so y'all know. <laughs> no, there's a difference. Oh, yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure we clear that up. Um, I hate it when Taco Bell did those black tacos. That was so stupid. <laughs> black it, tacos. Was. Hey, it was. It was. The point but I would tell you a Dorito Los Taco will get you right at any point in time. Yeah. I'm, if I'm desperate enough. That's usually my <laughs> drug meal. That's usually my. I was just drinking. The there Jack in the Box. <laughs> Oh, wait, did you just say Jack in the Box? Yeah. Their tacos are nasty. No, I don't eat tacos from there, though. <laughs> oh, I was going to say. No, it's just like, I'll go there. they have tacos, and they should not. Yeah, yeah. That it should was, be illegal. My mom used to, like, eat those all the time. I'm like, you are yeah, so eat disgusting. Because they're, like, soft at the bottom, and I'm yeah, like. Yeah, that's because of that, be that, cause that grease is yeah. down there. I'm like, yo, don't <laughs> they, <laughs> they cook them joints where the burger's at. Like. <laughs> Uh-uh. How, how are they still in business? I don't, I don't know, know anyone that still eats there. I don't know. I mean, I always did it because in Madison, it's literally like right by my house. Uh, so like, if I was if I was like you know a little little intoxicated or whatever, that'd be like my go to. It's right there. <gasps> so you know. All right. So what's the most interesting thing you've seen online this week? That I've the, seen yeah, online within the past week. <laughs> Well, honestly, there's something every day on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> every day. Hold on. Let every me just day. go to Twitter real quick. <laughs> Let me go to my feed. Check Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> at Itsy Girl Bria. <laughs> <laughs> um, interesting. What's in the news? Oh, Ariana Grande's new song. It kind of sounds rings. like... Yeah. That joint is let's talk hard, about that's, bro. I love that song. It's hard. Nah, nah, let's talk but about it. But when Soulja Boy... Let's yeah. talk like, about it. Yeah, that's let's cool. Talk about it. <laughs> Draco. <laughs> Draco. Let's talk about it. We can talk about it. That's fine. It does. Soulja Boy was like... He was like, oh, that sounds like my song. He's been... 
on the news. He's been, he been on one. He's been on one. I'm like, he been doing that. Social, where you, you been? Know, he talked about he <laughs> talked about Drake using his flow. Which he did. Like, yeah, <laughs> which he did. I was like, oh, big Draco back at it again. And she took the two chains uh, video. The, uh, she did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I had swinging. no idea. I didn't know on that. Watch a uh, two chains door swinging, and then look at her video. Mm. Got the pink trap house. I didn't know. If it was. Oh. oh, she put the pink. I didn't even see. Yeah, the video it's similar yet. to it. Yeah, yeah. I just know that joint actually actually hits like that yeah. song. That <laughs> little uh, G thinks just bought it like that. that yeah. Cold. Yeah. Um, I think I love this new era. Of yeah, Ariana Grande. Cause like ever since she like came out on Nickelodeon, yeah. I was like, you know, you could really, yeah, you could do R and B if you tried. Yeah, and now it's here, and I'm like, yeah. okay. I think she's trying to. Plus, she's trying to come back with a vengeance because of that whole like when Mac Miller passed, everybody mm-hmm. was like kind of blamed her. Right. And I was like, damn, that's, that's you can't you can't put nobody's death on that girl. Like, right. That, right. No matter what problems they had, you can't put it. No, death on absolutely. Her. And I was not. like, my goodness. I feel like everything that's <clears throat> happened to her um, has definitely changed her whole. Because, like, when she started out, she did, like, the good girl, girl next door type of yeah. brand. And now it's, like, a whole different, like, person. Yeah. And, like, personally, like, for an artist, like, their growth, mm-hmm. I love that seeing mm-hmm. seeing that in an artist. For, for, like, seeing them be one person and, then like, totally, like, five years later, the they've grown yeah you know facts so i i love it last question is what's a common thing that you think about when you're alone a what what's a common thing that you think about a common yeah when you, when you're alone i'm alone yeah <laughs> sounds a little weird <laughs> 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 it's <random ass>. <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> i'm usually thinking about money so that's weird I mean, how am I gonna? Told y'all, Big Bang Frank, <laughs> <laughs> trying to add more acres. <laughs> <laughs> trying to add more acres. I'm so, yeah, I gotta think about the future, you think know? Think about Cause, them acres. Cause like I gotta, in five to ten years, I want to be running things, and yeah. I feel like you really gotta start thinking about that way in advance, you know? Because yeah. people my age right now are out there, you know, partying, drinking, doing all that stuff, mm. and right now I'm plotting. Yeah. And, like, I don't have time for that because in 10 years, I want to be good. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to worry about th- all this then. Yeah. In the future. Exactly. So I'm taking care of business now. All right, so do you have any questions for us? Yes, I do have some questions. What? All right. What do you think about, what's that girl's name? Christine Braggioli, what's her name? Bad baby, Cash Me Outside, oh, oh, and look, her music. Girl, you can't, you can't yeah. say government names. I was like, I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you were. Danielle I promise. Bergoli, that's her I was name. hoping it wasn't like a like a black figure that I missed, and they were like talk <laughs> like she just got wrongfully convicted so, or something, and I missed it. And I was like, dang. What do you think of her doing like the whole rap thing? And actually being pretty successful for, I mean, the appearance that she made on Dr. Phil. Yeah, that's my whole problem. She was supposed to be getting help. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And then now she's a big star. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like you didn't really need the help. You were just trying to, you know, right. make money or whatnot. So I wonder if she actually, like, or I wonder if she needed the help, but they just... She was so much more funny that we just kind of like they mm-hmm. kind of ignored it. Like I don't know. I mean, me personally, um, I'm I'm kind of on the same. I just had a, a random like see the other side, but mm-hmm. I'm I'm on the same boat. You know, like she she came on to get help, and then it's like now you're now you're a big <coughs> star. I will say that, but she's not. When she first came out and she first started doing music, I honestly thought she was gonna be like, you right. know, one hitter quitter out of there. Right, but you she's know? actually, but she's actually doing like, it. yeah, she's actually being solid. She just got a a huge deal, nine hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, makeup she's got deal. a huge deal from somebody, and I just the only thing I can say is I hope that they're actually, if she actually needs help, or you know, mental state wise or whatever that is, that they're actually, you know, going I... to. I think what really rubs me the wrong way is the fact that, because, you know, I'm very present on mm. social media. Like, I read everything. Yeah. Um, especially, like, that's just the thing that my generation really, really does. Yeah. 
Um, and it's the fact that, you know, we really hyped up someone who's, like, so disrespectful mm-hmm. and gave that platform, and now she's profiting. Off, yeah. Like, profiting yeah. off of bad behavior, and that's what we hyped up. And, yeah, like, I, I respect that she has, you know, she actually has the talent, but it's how she got there yeah. like we're embracing the whole bad attitude mm. thing yeah and she's what 16 17 years old disrespectful yeah, to her mother yeah, like yeah. this is what we're showing to what? our kids true you know the kids that her are her age and younger think oh that's what i have to do to you know be famous is be disrespectful yeah. be outrageous <laughs> um and i'm i'm personally not about that mm-hmm. um she does make some bangers though <laughs> she, 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 Gucci flip know. flops. I'm yeah. like, okay. But I, <laughs> I <don't even> <laughs> hey, that yeah, that Gucci dad, that flip. But I, yeah, I mean, but also with her, that's another thing that I thought about was I wonder, I wonder how much of that is actually her because, like, if you mm. think about it now, I mean, outside of music, we don't really hear from her. Like, we don't hear from her. That's I don't, true. I don't really see her doing, you know, interviews mm-hmm. or yeah, no, you know, talking about it. So it's like, was that just kind of like a persona that you did, you know, to get on, or mm-hmm. you know? So yeah, I got, I got, I got mixed feelings about that. Like, yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, any more questions? Um, I think we already answered my other question earlier. Which one was it? I can't remember. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's lying. No! <laughs> I'm not lying! I swear! <laughs> oh, I think that's. I think that was like my big okay. question. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, yeah. Thank you for joining the show. Yes. Uh, before we go, shout out your social media, anything else you want to say. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Instagram is at It's Your Girl Bria. Twitter is the same. Facebook is Bria Music Official, I believe, and YouTube is also It's Your Girl Bria. So go ahead and follow me. Um, I will be posting some more content soon. Um, just going to be super creative and just seeing where where the road takes me. Yeah, shout out to you because, you know, you're the first person to actually – Stomach to growl on the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we set records, man. We set like, records. I was hungry, okay? I was a player. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Q. Um, and y'all can follow me uh, on Instagram at book Q the DJ. So that's B O O K two O's in, in case I said three. I never know if I say two or three, but B O O K Q U E T H E D J. Um, or you can follow me at the letter Q. And then dropping D R O P P I N dope D O P E Q dropping dope. Bet and as always, you can follow me at ambitious one K. Um, you know, go look up ambitious in the dictionary. You'll not spell it. <laughs> go follow Threshold Breaks Productions. Um, screw screw. Yep. Check out the new single February fifteenth. It'll be out everywhere. But yeah, until next time, you can't sit with us radio. L Ambitious Q. We out. We out. Woo.